Good day to everyone. In this session, we will be discussing the ethical online communication, something which has become the default for so many years now, given the proliferation of online tools and platforms which facilitate a real-time communication or interaction. But just like in a face-to-face -face or offline communications like letters, postcards, and other printed communication materials, it is important that we practice ethical online communication. So what exactly is ethical online communication? Ethical online communication refers to the responsible, respectful, and considerate exchange of information and ideas on digital platforms such as social media, messaging apps, email, and even online academic discussion forums. It involves adhering to a set of moral principles and guidelines that promote positive interactions, protect individuals' privacy and dignity, and contribute to a healthy online environment. Here are six key principles for practicing ethical online communication. First is respect and empathy. Respect others and treat them with the same respect and courtesy as you would in person. Avoid offensive language, personal attacks, or derogatory comments. Practice empathy by considering the feelings and perspectives of others before posting or responding to any communication. Empathetic communication fosters understanding and reduces misunderstandings which can affect the fidelity of the communication process. Take note that effective communication process requires the proper use of the channel of communication, which in this case is the digital platform, but which may be devoid or lack other communication essentials like non-verbal gestures, which can effectively convey the message. Use of proper wordings, therefore, is an essential component of ethical online communication. Related to this is digital etiquette or netiquette, which most, if not all of us, are familiar with, like avoiding the use of all cups, which indicates shouting, and refraining from offensive humor or sarcasm. We should think before we post or click and consider the potential impact of our words before posting or sending the message. Take note also that once something is online, it can be difficult to erase or retract. Second is honesty and transparency. It is important that we always provide accurate information, avoid spreading misinformation, rumors or unverified claims or fake news. Ethical concerns arise when false information is intentionally disseminated, leading to public confusion, fear or even prejudice. Still related to this, is to refrain from digital manipulation or deep fakes. It involves the use of artificial intelligence to create highly convincing fake videos or audio recordings. Ethical issues arise when these manipulated media are used to deceive others, damage reputations, or spread false narratives. Ethical online communication also requires that we be transparent about our identity and intentions online. Avoid creating fake accounts or engaging in deceptive practices. Online communication can also lead to a phenomenon called the online disinhibition effect where people feel less restrained in expressing themselves, often leading to impulsive and sometimes hurtful comments a situation exacerbated by the anonymity that the internet provides. It is therefore important that we be honest and transparent when communicating online. Third is privacy and consent. It is important that we respect not only our own privacy, but also the privacy of those whom we are communicating with. Refrain from sharing unnecessary personal information by being mindful of our privacy settings, especially on social media platforms. At the same time, do not share others' private information without their consent. Obtain consent before sharing someone else's content like photos or videos. Respect their right to control their online presence. Fourth is critical thinking. 
In an online platform, it is very easy to spread or communicate information as it is easy to create a personal digital communication platform. Make sure that you verify the accuracy of the information before sharing them. Avoid spreading hoaxes, scams, or misleading content. It is also important that we question biases or we be aware of our own biases by critically evaluating the information we encounter. Avoid sharing content that promotes discrimination or prejudice, especially those which pertain to other cultures or backgrounds, gender, or race. Fifth is cybersecurity, which includes making sure that you protect your accounts, like using strong, unique passwords for each online account. Enable two-factor authentication when available. Avoid phishing or be always cautious about clicking links or downloading attachments from unknown sources to prevent phishing attacks. This is so common now even in text messages where we receive notifications telling us that our bank account or email account is on hold and we should click a link. Clicking those links will often than not result in compromising our data and online accounts. Sixth is help build a safe online community space. This can be done by promoting positive conversations and constructive discussions. Acknowledge, appreciate, and respect diverse viewpoints. Note that they also enrich our online environment and widen our perspective, as well as help us be a good global citizen. Report any abusive, harassing, or threatening behavior to the platform administrators or moderators. We also need to encourage responsible use of online communication platforms by promoting and modeling ethical communication in educational settings, workplaces, and communities. Encourage responsible online behavior among peers and colleagues. Ethical online communication promotes a healthy digital environment, fosters understanding, collaboration, and positive social interactions. By adhering to these principles, individuals can contribute to a respectful and empathetic online community and at the same time, ensuring one's digital safety and well-being. Thank you.